Okay, so I told you guys I'd post a video last night about what happened with uh, this hotel that needs a pump. And unfortunately, uh, that was Friday night and it was date night and I got caught up spending some time with my wife. But uh, this is what happened. I am sitting there uh, minding my own business. I get a phone call from a hotel and they say, hey, listen, we've got a lift station and it holds 4,000 gallons and we need to have somebody come out and do weekly inspections on it and pump it whenever it needs to be pumped. Well, this counts as a commercial job and we don't do commercial jobs. It's, it's not in our wheelhouse, not because we can't, but just because we never have. We don't advertise it. It's not our bread and butter. And it, something just didn't seem right about it. Like, why are you calling us? So I picked up the phone and I called my buddy Kenneth and Kenneth owns another septic company and he's sort of been like a mentor to us. He's a really great guy. And I was like, hey, what, what's going on with this? And he knew immediately what company it was, what hotel it was, who was doing the, uh, you know, the, the maintenance. And he said, listen, they owe me money. Um, and, in, and in this case, it was something like $1,000 or something like that. And uh, I was like, okay, well, you know, I don't want to work for him. He says, well, you know, they, they, they owe money, but you know, he, he sort of encouraged me to make my own decision. I said, okay, great. So I called the guy back and I was like, listen, I completely understand that um, you guys need this done, but you owe my friend money and I'm not gonna work for you until that's paid. So everything's gotta be cash. If I show up there, it's gonna be cash money on the barrel. And I said, you owe me $1,200 to pull in the parking lot. And the guy just lost his mind. Um, when, whenever I was talk, talking to him on the phone yesterday, lost his mind. He's like, why do I owe you $1,200 to pull in the parking lot? I said, well, you owe me $1,200 because you owe my buddy a thousand. And he says, well, what's the extra 200 for? I said, well, that's the delivery fee. That's the, my buddy has waited on that money for 90 days and he doesn't have it and you know uh i'm not dealing with you unless you're paying and he said all right well how much to come out and pump the tanks i said well pumping the tank is going to be 500 dollars." and again the guy lost his mind he's like 500 dollars. What, what the what the fuck i was like listen you have already demonstrated a propensity not to pay local contractors, small business owners to take care of your stuff. And the going rate for a pump may be $300, $350 per thousand gallons. I'm charging you $500 per thousand gallons because I'm not gonna risk not being paid one day. And he was like, he's like, let me call you back. And that's pretty much where it ended and that's where I made the TikTok at. So this is the continuation of it. I called the guy back today to set up an appointment and he's agreed to set up an appointment, which makes me think that he doesn't have another company in town that he'll work for. Now, there is another company that I learned today that they also owe money to. So this is just turning into like a who's who of who do you owe money to. Um, and, and it makes me very nervous to do work for them, which is why I'm requiring like physical cash, hundred dollar bills to show up. This isn't going to be like a, hey, we'll bill you. Where this gets even more complicated at is they have these $2,500 pumps in their lift station. And the whole point in us going out there and monitoring their lift station is to monitor if these pumps go out. Well, the pumps are $2,500 and you can't get them on the weekends because the supply houses are closed, which means if you're going to take on management of this, you've got to have about five thousand dollars or two of these pumps standing by in your warehouse which means you got to spend your money so this is going to be one of those cases where it's like hey guys if you want us to take over management you owe us five thousand dollars up front so that we can buy these pumps to have them standing by for you when yours break we're going to there's a gps we're going to charge you twelve hundred dollars just to show up uh the first time so that my buddy can be paid because you owe him money we're gonna charge you $500 every single time. So if you're gonna deal with us, you're gonna be paying cash and it's gonna be a lot of it. And the funny thing is, is a lot of this cash, it is it, not going in my pocket. You know, 1200 is going into my buddy's pocket. 5,000 is going into pumps that are just gonna be sitting there. Um, 
So it seems like a lot of money, but it's it's really not. So uh, he set up a meeting. We're gonna go out and talk to him on Sunday and we're gonna see what he says. But the fact that he even took the meeting with me with those terms just really makes me think that uh, there is no one else willing to service their lift station. And just so you guys know, and I forgot to explain this, a lift station is a big holding tank. In this case, it's about 4,000 gallons. And what it does is it just holds the sewage until these pumps can pump it uphill to the city sewer because they built their hotel in a valley. So there you go. That's what's up. And, uh, you know, if the guy takes a deal on Sunday, I'll let you know on YouTube.